Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. The California Medical Association, which I am a, a member, have recommended the following. The rescheduling of medical cannabis, regulating recreational cannabis similar to alcohol and tobacco, taxing cannabis, facilitate dissemination and risks and benefits, and refer for national action. Is California being looked at askance by the rest of the country and by the White House, or are they being looked at as someone who's leading the way into the next century? Well, we took the lead with uh, the proposition in 1996 in which we did decriminalize marijuana in this state. It was the first state to do that. And as you've said, there are now 16 states plus the District of Columbia which have done it. And we now have two governors who have announced that they will go to Washington and solicit the Drug Enforcement Administration to change its scheduling. Now, uh, so there's a, there's a national movement here. Yes. But, but Dr. Lyman, I, 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 I want to understand this because I'm a doctor that practices in California. You are one of the leaders of the California Medical Association. You represent me and my peers. Are, are you guys representing the mainstream in these very strong recommendations to put cannabis more in the category with alcohol and cigarettes than a Schedule One drug? Are you representing the mainstream or are you guys going rogue on us? Uh, we think this is mainstream. We think there's a crescendo of repudiation of federal policy with 16 states, District of Columbia, two governors. This is something that's, that's uh, more than just a little bit of unhappiness out there. There are three things that push us this way. The first is, as you pointed out, we as physicians are now made the gatekeepers for cannabis, for people's access to it. But we've discovered there's no gate. There's no regulatory structure we can depend on to know the strength, the potency, the safety of this stuff. There's no regulatory structure there. Dr. Sabet, you disagree with this. Well, yeah, I mean, simply uh, medicine needs to be determined by science and the scientific process, not by popular vote in the ballot box. And actually, there are medicinal properties in marijuana. We've synthesized already a couple of those components. Today, you can get them if you have a doctor's prescription. One's called Marinol, another's called Sesame. There's actually a way to do this through the FDA who makes that determination. Uh, but to have something you know, called you know, purple haze or banana kush uh, uh, put out there as medicine is, is pretty ludicrous. I mean, the issue is you don't need to legalize marijuana in order to do the research. We, the feds could speed up research. I have urged them to do so. I hope they do. There's already research going on, uh, some exciting research of some drugs that have been approved abroad in Europe that are marijuana-based. Uh, so, you know, we don't smoke opium to get the effects of morphine. We don't need to smoke the raw marijuana plant to get its potential therapeutic uh, effects.